Welcome to another Tata Motors video and this time it is the Tata Harrier EV and this is all wheel drive finally. A lot of people have been asking for all wheel drive with the Harrier but uh, it did not come with the ICE model but now it is here with the EV. So of course these are dual motors, one motor at the front axle, one at the rear axle which is why it is all wheel drive. This is still a concept, the model will be launched in 2024 and the Sierra over here will be launched in 2025. I'll show you that in another video but uh, coming to the Harrier EV. It looks really nice, the dimensions are exactly the same as the normal Harrier and the design elements have also been carried forward but uh, you can have a look at the lights over here which are slightly designed uh, yet the DRL over here which is in action right now. The Tata Motors logo is glowing very proudly and uh, the bumper is also all new. Of course the fascia is completely new and uh, you can have a look at the grille and the indicators, how the lights are functioning. Very nice and this is the projector light over here. Here's another close look at the bumper of the car. So the design has been done up very nicely and some people have mixed reactions also but I think overall the dimensions and the design look nice. It looks quite futuristic. From the side it looks very identical to the normal Harrier save for this part and you get new alloy wheels with MRF Wanderer tires. Apart from that the mirror is exactly the same. You get a three, you get a 360 view camera, you get a dual tone finish and coming to the interior of the car on the inside the dashboard is exactly the same as the normal Harrier you have a gear knob also for some reason even though it is an EV and here's a look at the instrument list of the car you can have a look at the range it is being showcased somewhere where the range is 495 kilometers with 90 percent battery so realistically they will claim around 500 kilometers and the car will do around 4, 350 400 that is what I am expecting under the new MIDC cycle and of course the rear wheel drive conditions the seats are exactly the same the EPB over there is the same and I don't know why for some reason it has a gear knob you get those uh, standard ESP modes also and I guess that's about it the screen is all new of course 10.25 inches in size no door handles because this is a concept it cannot be opened but you can touch over here to open but I don't want to do that right now you get some EV badging and I guess that's about it lots of security over here from the rear it looks identical to the normal Harrier save for the new lights and of course the new bumper Harrier EV badging over here and I guess that's about it. You can see the lights in action. They look quite good. The paint finish is good and the quality of the paint is also quite nice. This is the new rear bumper of the car. And I guess that's about it. So what are your thoughts on the Harrier EV? Let me know in the comment section below. Also let me know which one will you buy. Harrier EV or Harrier uh, diesel the standard one. A safety rating of 5 stars is expected for this car by the way. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.